shape on the leaves just a little bit wrong. You've got to put it around the side like that, a bit wider. Yeah, that's it. Uh, if you hold that side here, it's like Christ. Because you're not holding this side, this side tight enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, put, put, do it from the back so you can see. Yeah. Is it all in the right place? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> it, doesn't help, it doesn't help the jet lane. <laughs> <laughs> right. So everything's dot and circles, and then we were going to have white um, tiles, kind of round circle tiles, curling up a wall, and then a black one, which we're going to move into. And this is a really cool thing to move into, too. Okay. Oh, it looks like the, um, it looks a bit like the mask of one of those people that used to, you know, the beheading people. You used to cut the heads off. It's true. What do you call those people? Beef eaters. Beef eaters. Take some of the internal light on. You got to move it around quite a bit. Sorry. But you guys can't see and you can't breathe. Is that a problem? So get prepared, yeah. <laughs> So uh, I'm gonna make sure they're ready for you. You're in the right spot. Did you get there's some breakfast? It's a 1968 Dan Armstrong, which is what Keith Richards played on the Gimme Shelter tour. And <laughs> this guitar was owned by Earl Brooks in Nashville. And um, rumor has it. Why is that gone? Why is the shadow gone? What about the. Weird goats. Very warm, but it's a rumor. We don't, we'd have to ask Keith, and he might not even know. And we're going to put some uh, vintage wallpaper over top to kind of make it our own. There's nothing there. Uh, so, I'm Matt from Bank called Muse. Uh, we're making a new music video for a Supermassive Black Hole. Please go through and have a look. Cameron, here we go. Pictures up. <laughs> You'd be my standard. Right. What's going on in this? Uh, uh, we're just standing around. It's a music video. <laughs> it's just generally a lot of surreal imagery, I think, inspired by Floria's nightmares. We've got like people dressed up in um, these tight-fitting suits with like uh, pictures of themselves all printed all over them, and uh, like some women dressed up as an owl. Um, some guys are waterfall, and eventually they all like peel off their costumes and like turn. They've got black costumes underneath and like turn into this big kind of black mass of like limbs, and then. It zooms into it and we're playing inside. So it's, you know, obviously quite a surreal piece. You can see too? Yeah. We can be like Nick Cage. <laughs> oh, Cage. No, making you work. Oh, sorry. Oh, there, there no was jokes. a giggle. I love it. No. <laughs> he went. No, no gang. <laughs>
limbs and stuff and uh, we can't even go into it. This video is getting more surreal as the hours go on throughout the day. Every like 10 minutes there's a new surprise. And it's uh it's just getting berserk, you know. Particularly when you've got jet lag. Things are just getting really surreal. Like that. <laughs> but I was speaking to Floria. I was speaking to Floria about her ideas and she was saying we thought this whole vibe was just her like dreams and nightmares, but she was saying she hasn't actually slept for three years. So oh, I haven't slept in a year and a half. For three years. So it's really just she like she's in like this weird lucid. Did you say she hasn't slept. No, not really. So she's in this weird lucid state, dreamlike state. Anyway. What a good dream. <laughs> in real life. So this is just you know her representation and perception of what she sees. That's really where this video is going right now. do something really different with Supermassive Backfell. We wanted to really feel, like, try out a new musical area for our band, I think. And um, so we kind of really based it around this kind of really kind of strong, almost R&B rhythmical bass for a track with kind of like a kind of a dirty, synthy blues riff over the top. So it's, um, it definitely feels like a bizarre musical direction for us. And um, it felt really kind of fresh when we came out of it in the studio. <laughs> But I have this feeling that people are staring at me all the time. Gloria Sigismundi, I think, is a great director. I really like her. Uh, she did uh, Blue Orchid by uh, White, Stripes. White Stripes, which is nice. She's worked with Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. She's got a really cool, distinctive, artistic style about her work. She's a really amazing photographer as well. Uh, <laughs> We thought it'd be a good idea to work with her, really, because she comes up with very bizarre, surreal dreams and tries to kind of make videos out of them. The treatment is good. Uh, the idea for the video is good. It's kind of very simple, really. It's just uh, us three with sort of masks on, with mirrors and weird sort of uh, material that our faces pulled. And uh, what does it all mean, eh? I wish I knew, um, but it's, uh, it looks, looks good. Point to your eyes. So is this hood and mirror here? <laughs> yeah. where, do you, where do you think and the, the other eyes are? Yeah, okay. Well, it's like one down there or something. <laughs> Point to your nose. Where's your nose, Dom? Where's the end of your nose? Yeah. <laughs> where's so your like mouth? Upper lip. Where's something? your mouth? Because <laughs> we've got a sense of humour. 
Oh, so only just. Oh my god. <laughs> What's that? I did have a sense of humor. Just cracked an egg on your face. That's cool. <laughs> Enjoy it as much as we did making it. See you later. Cheers. Cheers.